Hey, really excited to kick off the start of the 2014 uh, spring football practice. I know our coaches are excited. We've had a great uh, last few weeks of uh, studying what we did in the fall, trying to find some answers to, to improve in certain areas, to be more efficient, more be more productive, and to get the most out of the out of the team that we have. Uh, our football team's been working awfully hard in the in the weight room in the all season program in what we call our first quarter program, and they're doing a Great job! I think the strength South has done a great job of putting these guys in position right now to uh, go into spring football practice. Very healthy, strong. I think a little mentally tougher than maybe we were when we began. And uh, now we will get out there and let these guys compete. And uh, for, for playing time, for starting time, uh, and have a chance to what we say get on get on that bus. And so, but we are looking forward to it. A lot of answers. A lot of questions that have to be answered. Uh, first and foremost to me is trying to find a replacement for center Andre Huval. Uh, we're going to move Terry, Terry Johnson from left guard to center, so that will be his spot to lose. And then uh, on the defense side of the ball, trying to find a replacement for Justin Anderson. Those are the two biggest pressing to uh, needs on our offense and defense. Made easy. Uh, special teams wise, we, we do have a, a big uh, question to answer since uh, John Broussard has decided to graduate and enter physical therapy school. He will not return. So anytime you lose your deep snapper, that's always a concern because uh, when you've got a really good one, it makes life really easy. So now we're trying to find a replacement there. And our next big question mark is in the return game. We lose the uh, university's all-time leading kick returner, Daryl Surgeon. And so we'll, uh, we've got a lot of candidates, I think, that are very good. I think uh, that all will be able to compete. See where we see where we land there in a few weeks. Still have a lot of competition at a lot of the positions, and we'll see how that shakes down. But I'd be very excited to see Terrence Broadway back 100% healthy, um, knowing though that we definitely want to keep him healthy uh, throughout the duration of spring football practice. Uh, even though we want to keep guys healthy, we still want to make sure we get great work, great competition in order to to make what we call the really good players. We want to make them even better get the players that are maybe are not quite where these guys are to raise their play too. But we, we don't want to leave these guys at the same level thinking let's just get them healthy uh, and keep them healthy. We want to make sure they improve just like we want these guys to improve along with them. So that will be critical uh, for our success in the fall is creating great depth, great competition heading into the summer. Uh, Fifteen practices that will end up with a spring game on April uh, the 12th at noon and so uh, it'll be uh, a situation where you've got to make sure that every practice is productive, is competitive, and uh, that you're getting the most out of our football team. So for that I'll open up to you my guys if you have any questions. Who do you think it comes down to uh, just initial names for replacing guys in the linebacker? Uh, I think Trey Grenier, if you, you know if you watched uh, him practice which we got to see him every day uh, throughout the fall. I think he's going to be a guy that's really going to compete for that spot. And then you see, uh, you know, Trey Johnson who's coming in his senior year, sort of an experienced veteran. Uh, we've got to have not only a very good player, and that's what Justin Anderson was, but he was also the quarterback that could get everybody lined up and get you in the right calls, make the right checks. And so you've got to not only be a very talented player, but you've got to be a guy that can handle the, that responsibility of making all the strength calls. How, how big of a, a learning curve will the person who replaces Justin Anderson have to face? Well, you know, you, you ask what type of learning curve would it be. I don't know if necessarily the learning curve because a lot of the guys that are going to be competing for that spot uh, have been in our system. You know, even Kevin Fuqua, uh, I see him competing for the spot, Tyron Alexander. Uh, so we've got a lot of guys uh, that know the system, but how how uh, productive can they be? Uh, they can't just get us lined up and not make any tackles and not make any plays. And so it's how productive can they be and then how, how well can they get us lined up also. Mark, I know every spring is, is different. This is your fourth, hard to believe. But you've been looking forward to this one for a long time. Well, he, he mentioned that uh, you know, this is our fourth spring and, and for the most part this is our football team and, uh, with the exception of just very few. And uh, we've got uh, the deepest team that we've ever had in spring football practice. 
a lot of times you come in the spring losing a lot of players. You've got a lot of guys, you know, suspects, <coughs> candidates. But we've got uh, a lot of guys that's played in a lot of college football games, like a Daniel Quay who started 36 uh, games in the offensive line spot. So we've got some guys that's played in a lot of games. We've got a lot of depth. Still got some questions to be answered, but this is the most returners and the most depth that we have, would have ever gone into spring football practice. Coach, uh, start on the defensive side, obviously beyond that Anderson and linebacker. You've got some competition that's going to be going in that secondary safety position. Obviously, you brought in Bates that to compete back there. Talk a little bit about those because you're going to have some competition there at the cornerback position as well, and some guys moving around a little bit. Yeah, we, you know, we, we wanted to really increase our depth in the secondary and create even some more competition. <coughs> C.J. Bates will come in and get a look at the corner. We've moved Montreal Carter from running back to corner to try to utilize him on the field a little bit. Uh, then you got Javante Watson returning. You've got Dominic Jones returning. Guys that had gotten some snaps last year that continue to improve and I think are really going to push for, for playing time and, and want to compete for starting jobs. And so I'm anxious to see how it shakes down. Uh, but we definitely have more quality depth back there than we, that we've ever had. Anything else? All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Look forward to seeing you guys out there. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. Good. Thank you.